Jeremy a man of tears. Jeremiah was born into a religious form in the kingdom of Judah. It's that Hidekir was a priest. The family did in a town called Anasong, not far from Jerusalem. Maybe Jeremiah's parents thought he would also become a priest, but God had other plans. At the time of Jeremiah's birth, God's people were not living according to God's word. Nearly everybody from the king town came down to the most humble worker, received first gods, even in God's own holy temple. When Jeremiah was a young man, God spoke to him, I knew you before you were born, God told Jeremiah, and I promise that you will speak for me. God's call seemed to scare Jeremiah. Ah, oh God, he cried out, I cannot speak. For I am a child. He was more than a child. He was 20 years old. But Jeremiah didn't think he could speak out for God against the weakness all around him. Don't be afraid, God assured Jeremiah. Go wherever I send you. Say, Whatever I tell you to say, I am with you and I will deliver you. Then God did something special. God touched Jeremiah's mouth. God gave Jeremiah strength and courage and wisdom. He spoke out boldly. Reminding people that God loved them and wanted to help them. But nobody listened to him, not even the king. Even the priest got angry and told him to quit speaking about God. There were also false prophets who said that Jeremiah was not telling the truth. Jeremiah demanded the people that about a hundred years, hundred years before, the northern kingdom of Israel had abandoned God. Their enemies, the Assyrian, conquered them and moved all of the Israelites to distant lands. Now the people of Judah. The southern kingdom had abandoned God. The enemy armies were already on the march. Would God allow his people to be conquered and taken into exile too? The people trusted their idols. Could idols save them from the enemies? No. Only God could save them. The people got so angry at Jeremiah. They made a plot to kill him. But God protected his servant. Finally, God says something that must have shocked Jeremiah. God said, don't pray for these people. I will not hear them when they cry to me for help. Jeremiah warned the king he would rule the battle with the army of Babylon. The king was angry and threw Jeremiah in prison. Even in prison, Jeremiah kept on preaching and trusting God. 
After he got out of prison, Jemmy again preached to the king and the people that they should turn back to God and put their trust in him. This time, the king has Jeremiah lowered into a deep, muddy dungeon. But God was at work in the king's heart. He secretly rescued Jeremiah and asked him what God wanted the king to do. Go into captivity. And God said, You will live, was the answer. The Babylonian army conquered Jerusalem and all of Judah. They pulled down the walls and all the buildings and burned everything. God said his people would go into captivity for 70 years, and then he would bring them back to the promised land. Jeremiah, Mere of Tears, a story from girls of the Bible is found in Jeremiah. The address of your words gives light. Psalm 119, verse 130. The end.